before February 14th, I was a teenager. I had a normal life. I was happy, as happy as somebody in high school can be. I moved before ninth grade to go to Stoneman Douglas because it was a better school. It was a safer school. February 14th, a mass shooting occurred at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. How many more folks have to die? When is enough going to be enough? Pain. That's all it was. It was it was pain. And that's what we felt at the vigil. That's what we felt everywhere. What would be left of me if I sat back and just let the pain take over and didn't fight for something to be better? I wrote about it. It was what helped me cope. We needed to have a clear message. We needed to have this army of students shouting that we needed change. That was when the March for Our Lives was born. We really think 17-year-olds on their own are going to plan a nationwide rally. Student survivors have become public figures in a movement to stop gun violence. This is not a mere publicity stunt, a single day in the span of history. This is a movement. There was a part of me that wanted people to feel the pain that I let myself feel in those speeches. It was the only thing I could do to cope, to feel like there was something for me. My life can never be anything like it was before that day. Every ounce of childhood in me was taken. We need to do something now while we can. Going to university in the South wasn't necessarily an easy choice. It's really important to be in a place that maybe doesn't feel the same way as I do a lot of the time. I want to print posters, I want to have meetings, I want to start chapters and join clubs. That's the basis of all of this. The best way to create this community of women who can be there for each other is one by one. See if maybe she is interested in participating and fighting, just existing in a way that maybe she hasn't been able to before. Yeah. I want to show girls that there's room for more than one powerful female voice in a movement. In any space, you should be able to be yourself and be valued and be heard. It's terrifying to think that maybe one day I won't be able to remember all the details of February 14th, but it's important to me. It's why I am here. It's why I am who I am today. And if I can't access that, then why am I bothering? What is the point of all this activism if I can't get back to the root of it? My home is this dirty word, but it's also been the spark for a national movement. We march, we fight, we, we roar. roar. We prepare our signs, we raise them high. We know what we want, we know how to get it, and we are not waiting any longer. I'm not waiting any longer. I'm Delaney Tarr, and this is how I shape my world.